Hello everyone, welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Today we have the new A24 Shop exclusive 2-pack of The Souvenir and The Souvenir Part 2. Um, this is another collector's edition from A24. Previously we had Midsummer, Last Black Man in San Francisco, and Lamb. All of these were in 4K, which is very nice. This one, however, did not have a 4K option, but um, I'm not going to complain. It's still pretty cool. It's a 2-pack. Um, but uh, yeah, me being a huge A24 fan, as you guys know, I had to scoop this up. Even though I haven't seen either one of these movies, and I really don't know anything about them. Um, <laughs> some people might think I'm crazy for always blind buying tons of movies, but uh, I, I trust A24 fully. Um, and from what I read, these two films are very good. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I still have yet to see a bad A24 movie. I haven't seen them all, but I still have yet to see a bad one. And I've said that several times before. Um, yeah, very cool that A24 does this now with their um, collector's editions. More compact, you know, I do love the first two there, but the Lamb one was very, very nice to see. Like, it's very similar to, like, a Criterion, you know what I mean? Um, so I love that they uh, made that transition there. So, like I said, I don't have a clue uh, about these films. Like, this is total blind buy. I'm not familiar with the director. Um... And I believe this is the, f the only time A24 ever made a sequel. Um, I know they're going to make a prequel to X, and they're going to do a sequel to X as well. It's going to be a trilogy. Um, but this is the first instance, I think, that they did a sequel before. So, not quite a franchise, but I guess X will be their first franchise. Um, not sure what this says. Thinking about Russia? Does that say Russia? I really can't read this. Okay, anyways. So we have a character here on the front. Um, I don't know if that's a hole in the wall right there. Um, is it like a projector? Looks like she's holding the camera. And then again, in the same style as Lamb, I'll do a comparison with these two later, but uh, this is like the barcode right here. It wraps around. Interesting choice. So here on the back, if you want a, um, it's a synopsis, I guess you could say, or a brief summary. Uh, 1980s London, this takes place. We get some features on there. Um, director's commentaries. Martin Scorsese's on the co on the uh, documentary. That's pretty cool. Um, the Souvenir, 2019. Souvenir Part Part Two, 2021. And yeah, 1080p. Of course, is a standard Blu-ray. No 4K option. And then here is, um, I guess these are the credits essentially. Yeah. So pretty cool. Again, I don't know anything about these movies. If you guys have seen them, let me know what you thought of them. And here's what I assume is the main character in the front. And this looks like some sort of wraparound. So let's take a look. Very nice. This is definitely reminding me of Criterion. Like, totally. Um, this kind of looks like Michael Shannon from this angle, but I don't think that's him. All right, so before I take out the booklet, here's the uh, first movie. It's purple. And then there's the second movie. It's black. Let's take these out. And take this one out. And this is what looks to be a very wide shot that continues on through all three panels here. So I know it has to do with some sort of filmmaking. I don't really know. Um, total blind purchase again. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not uh, too enthusiastic. I just don't know what I'm getting into here. Um, so here's the booklet. Right there. There's the back. Okay, we got text going like that. I don't know what it says. So real quick, I'll flip through this. Hopefully there's no spoilers in there. Oops. I don't want to skip any pages. I want you guys to be able to pause and read, hopefully, if you want to pause and read anything. It's like a decent sized book, too. Oops. Skip the page there. Looks like we got concept art. And uh, let me know in the comments as well, which uh, films would you like to see get a collector's edition? I assume they're going to do The Lighthouse at some point. Like, that's like a no-brainer to me. Um, everything Everywhere All at Once is already getting a 4K, but that definitely could get a collector's edition just because it's their biggest film yet. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, Uncut Gems already got a Criterion, so I'm good with that. Um, good time. I'd love to see an edition of Good Time. 
Um, but yeah, you know, this is the booklet. I can't really say much, you know. I apologize if this video is kind of lackluster. Um, okay, my camera decided to cut off uh, midway through a sentence, and everything decided to fall over also at the same time. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> so continuing on here uh, through the book, we got more pictures and credits here. Oh, Martin Scorsese was actually a producer on these. Okay. Interesting. All right, guys. So, <laughs> um, again, I don't have anything to say because I don't know anything. Um, so let's get the booklet back inside. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. In the comments, again, let me know which uh, films from A24 you'd like to see get a collector's edition like this. Um, and also, what is your favorite uh, A24 film in general? Um, I feel like a lot of people now are going to say everything everywhere, you know, um, just because. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that was an excellent movie. Um, not quite my favorite, though, but yeah. Um, I'd still say Uncut Gems is my favorite. That one's going to be very hard to beat. But, uh, yeah, that's been The Souvenir and The Souvenir Part 2, the uh, two-pack there. And uh, real quick, before I forget, let's do a comparison. Again, things are falling over. Okay, just sit there. Okay. <laughs> um, here we go. So we got Lamb. A24 at the bottom logo there, of course. Same exact size, obviously, except this one's a little thicker. And then there's the uh, barcodes. But uh, yeah, I have a whole video for Lamb, obviously, if you want to go back and look at that. Um, do you guys display them like this? I personally don't because I'm not a fan of the old barcode thing. I, I more so do it like this. But uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this one, and have a good one. Bye-bye.